Eight Medications That Scientific Studies Have Associated With an Increased Risk of Dementia And no, memory loss is not an inevitable consequence of aging. Recent research shows that we can keep our brains healthy much longer than we previously thought, as long as we know how to take care of them properly. So, why can seemingly harmless medications cause such severe damage? And how can we protect our brains while treating other health conditions? These are crucial questions that we will answer throughout this video. It's important to emphasize that we are not here to demonize modern medicine. Many of these medications are essential for treating serious conditions and improving the quality of life for millions of people. However, it is essential that we are aware of the potential risks and know how to minimize them. The Silent Villains Omeprazole and Anticholinergics Let's start our list with two medications that seem harmless but can have devastating effects in the long run. Omeprazole and Anticholinergic Drugs First, let's talk about Omeprazole. This medication is one of the most popular for treating heartburn, reflux, and gastric ulcers. It belongs to a class called Proton Pump Inhibitors, PPIs. It seems harmless, right? Well, not so much. Recent studies have revealed a concerning connection between prolonged use of omeprazole and an increased risk of dementia. A study involving about 6,000 people showed that 10% of the participants who took omeprazole for more than three years experienced memory loss. Another study found that 33% of patients who used the medication for more than four and a half years reported cognitive disturbances. But how does omeprazole affect the brain? It is believed that it may interfere with the absorption of vitamin B12, crucial for neurological health. Additionally, omeprazole can alter gut microbiota, which in turn may negatively impact brain function. It is important to note that we are not suggesting you stop taking omeprazole immediately. If you use it regularly, talk to your doctor about alternatives or the possibility of reducing the dose. In many cases, dietary and lifestyle changes can help control gastric problems without the need for continuous medication. Now, let's talk about anticholinergics. This is a broad class of drugs used to treat various conditions, from allergies to depression and urinary incontinence. The problem is that they block the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. Studies show that prolonged use of anticholinergics is associated with a significant increase in the risk of dementia. A study by the University of Washington, which followed more than 3,500 elderly people for 10 years, found that those who regularly used anticholinergics had a 54% higher risk of developing dementia. Some common examples of anticholinergic drugs include first-generation antihistamines, like diphenhydramine, certain antidepressants, like amitriptyline, and medications for urinary incontinence, like oxybutynin. The indiscriminate use of these drugs, especially among the elderly, is concerning due to their potential to contribute to cognitive decline. If you are taking any anticholinergic medication, do not stop abruptly. Talk to your doctor about safer alternatives or the possibility of reducing the dose. It is crucial that patients and doctors carefully consider the risks and benefits of anticholinergics, seeking alternatives when possible, and limiting use to the minimum necessary doses and durations. Remember, the key here is prolonged use. Taking an antihistamine occasionally to relieve allergy symptoms is unlikely to cause long-term problems. But continuous use, especially in high doses, is what really concerns researchers. The hidden dangers, corticosteroids and benzodiazepines. Continuing our list, let's now talk about two types of medications that, while effective in treating various conditions, can have serious side effects on the brain, corticosteroids and benzodiazepines. Let's start with corticosteroids. These drugs are widely used to treat a variety of conditions from asthma and allergies to autoimmune and inflammatory diseases. They are extremely effective in reducing inflammation and suppressing exaggerated immune responses. However, 
The prolonged use of corticosteroids, especially when administered orally, is associated with several serious adverse effects, including the deterioration of mental and cognitive health. Studies have shown that corticosteroids can cause structural changes in the brain, leading to problems such as disorientation, confusion, depression, and anxiety. An epidemiological study in the United Kingdom, which analyzed data from more than 500,000 people, revealed that those who used corticosteroids for asthma for long periods had a significantly higher risk of developing dementia and other mental health disorders. Glucocorticoids such as prednisone and dexamethasone are particularly concerning when used long-term. They can interfere with brain function, possibly due to changes in cortisol levels, a stress hormone that, in excess, can damage neurons in the hippocampus, the brain region responsible for memory. If you are using corticosteroids, especially for long periods, it is crucial that the use is carefully monitored by healthcare professionals. Never stop taking corticosteroids abruptly, as this can be dangerous. Instead, talk to your doctor about the possibility of gradually reducing the dose or exploring alternative treatments. Now, let's talk about benzodiazepines. These drugs are widely prescribed to treat anxiety and insomnia. Known for their calming and relaxing effects, drugs like alprazolam, diazepam, and lorazepam are effective in quickly relieving anxiety symptoms. However, prolonged use can have serious consequences for brain health. Studies have demonstrated a clear association between the prolonged use of benzodiazepines and memory loss. Research suggests that these medications can double the risk of developing Alzheimer's, possibly due to permanent brain damage. A study indicated that more than 40% of benzodiazepine users experienced a variety of neurological symptoms, including difficulty concentrating, lack of energy, nervousness, and increased sensitivity to sensory stimuli. In addition to memory loss, prolonged use of benzodiazepines is associated with a range of other adverse effects. These include sleep problems, anxiety, myalgia, and muscle weakness. Physical and emotional dependence is also a significant risk, making it challenging for many patients to stop using these medications. The relationship between benzodiazepines and Alzheimer's is particularly concerning. Although the exact mechanism is not fully understood, it is believed that these drugs may interfere with the normal function of neurotransmitters, leading to structural and functional changes in the brain. Additionally, prolonged use can negatively affect the sleep cycle, crucial for memory consolidation. If you are taking benzodiazepines, it is essential that their use is carefully monitored and limited. Doctors should consider non-pharmacological alternatives to treat anxiety and insomnia, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, relaxation techniques, and lifestyle adjustments. When benzodiazepine use is necessary, it should be for short periods and at the lowest effective doses possible. Remember, never stop taking benzodiazepines abruptly as this can cause severe withdrawal symptoms. Always consult your doctor before making any changes to your medication regimen. Unexpected Surprises Amphetamines and First-Generation Antihistamines Continuing our list of medications that can affect brain health, let's now talk about two types that may surprise many people. Amphetamines and First-Generation Antihistamines Starting with amphetamines, including the popular Adderall, they are widely used in the treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. These medications are known for their ability to improve concentration and reduce hyperactivity in the short term. However, prolonged use of amphetamines can have significant adverse effects, including memory loss. Amphetamines work by increasing levels of neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain, which temporarily improves concentration and focus. However, Continuous use can lead to a range of problems, such as physical and emotional dependence, sleep difficulties, irritability, and even depression. Memory loss is one of the most concerning side effects associated with prolonged use of these drugs. 
Studies show that high and prolonged doses of amphetamines can cause permanent brain damage. In addition to memory problems, long-term users may experience decreased motivation and overall cognitive performance. These effects can persist even after discontinuing the medication, indicating lasting damage. Another significant risk of amphetamines is the potential for abuse and addiction. Due to their stimulating effects, these drugs can be misused, leading to serious complications such as cardiac arrhythmias, digestive problems, and even sudden death. Psychological dependence can also be a significant challenge, making it difficult to stop using the medication even when adverse effects become evident. If you or someone you know is using amphetamines for ADHD, it is crucial that their use is strictly monitored by healthcare professionals. Therapeutic alternatives and non-pharmacological approaches, such as behavioral therapy and stress management techniques, should be considered for the treatment of ADHD. Now let's talk about first-generation antihistamines, such as chlorpheniramine and diphenhydramine. These medications are widely used to relieve allergy and cold symptoms. Although effective in providing immediate relief from symptoms like congestion and itching, these medications have a dark side. Their long-term adverse effects on memory and cognitive function. First-generation antihistamines work by blocking the action of histamine, a substance in the body that causes allergic symptoms. However, they also have an anticholinergic effect, meaning they block acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. Prolonged use of these medications can therefore lead to significant cognitive problems. Studies have shown that first-generation antihistamines are associated with an increased risk of dementia. A recent review of 138 studies on the adverse effects of these medications found a strong association between prolonged use and cognitive disorders. Patients who regularly use these medications reported memory problems and difficulty concentrating even after stopping use. Fortunately, there are safer alternatives, such as second-generation antihistamines, e.g. loratadine and cetirizine. These medications have fewer side effects and are not associated with cognitive issues. They are preferred for long-term allergy treatment, offering effective symptom relief without the same risks to brain health. In addition to cognitive risks, first-generation antihistamines can cause other side effects, such as drowsiness, dry mouth, and blurred vision. These effects can significantly impact quality of life, especially in older adults, who are more susceptible to the adverse effects of these medications. To minimize risks, it is important for patients to consult their doctors before using first-generation antihistamines for long periods. Considering safer alternatives and adopting other allergy management measures, such as environmental and dietary changes, can help reduce the need for these medications and protect cognitive health. Remember, if you are using any of these medications regularly, do not stop abruptly. Always consult a healthcare professional before making changes to your medication regimen. The Unexpected Tricyclic Antidepressants and Statins we have reached the final topic on our list, and we will discuss two types of medications that may surprise many people. Tricyclic antidepressants and statins. Let's start with tricyclic antidepressants. Medications like amitriptyline and nortriptyline were some of the first developed to treat depression. While effective in alleviating depressive symptoms, these drugs have a side effect profile that includes memory loss and other cognitive issues. Tricyclic antidepressants work by blocking the reuptake of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and norepinephrine, increasing their availability in the brain. However, they also have strong anticholinergic properties, meaning they block acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter vital for memory and learning. Prolonged use of tricyclic antidepressants has been associated with an increased risk of dementia and other cognitive disorders. Studies show that patients who regularly use tricyclic antidepressants experience a faster decline in cognitive function compared to those who do not use them. These medications can cause difficulties in concentration, confusion, and short- and long-term memory loss. 
Furthermore, the risk of adverse effects is particularly high in older adults who are more sensitive to the anticholinergic properties of these drugs. Fortunately, today there are safer alternatives, such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, which have fewer side effects and are not associated with memory problems. Examples include fluoxetine and sertraline, which are widely used to treat depression and anxiety with a better safety profile. If you are using tricyclic antidepressants, do not stop abruptly. Talk to your doctor about the possibility of switching to a more modern and safer alternative. Now, let's talk about statins, a topic that has generated much controversy in the medical community. Statins, such as atorvastatin and simvastatin, are widely prescribed to lower cholesterol levels and prevent cardiovascular diseases. While effective in protecting against heart attacks and strokes, there is a growing body of evidence suggesting that prolonged use of statins may have adverse effects on cognitive function. Studies indicate that some people who take statins experience memory problems and mental confusion. Although these side effects are not common, they can be significant for those who experience them. It is believed that statins may interfere with cholesterol production in the brain, which is essential for synapse formation and cognitive function. A review of observational studies and clinical trials has shown mixed results on the relationship between statins and cognitive function. Some studies suggest that statins may protect against dementia, while others indicate an increased risk of memory problems. This discrepancy may be due to differences in the population studied, statin doses, and treatment duration. It is important to emphasize that the cardiovascular benefits of statins are well established, and for many people they outweigh the potential cognitive risks. However, it is crucial that patients and doctors discuss the potential adverse effects of statins and closely monitor any cognitive symptoms that may arise. In some cases, adjusting the dose or switching to a different statin can help alleviate side effects. Additionally, patients should be encouraged to adopt a healthy lifestyle, including diet and exercise, to help control cholesterol levels and reduce dependence on medication. Remember, your brain is your most precious asset. Take care of it with wisdom and attention. Stay informed, ask questions to your doctor, and make conscious decisions about your health. Thank you for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate notifications so you don't miss our next content on health and wellness. See you next time.